Decimal Day was the biggest shake-up to British currency in over a thousand years. To make the switch to decimal as smooth as possible, the government launched one of the largest public education campaigns in UK history. On TV and radio, catchy campaigns flooded the airways. One of the most memorable educational films from the campaign was Granny Gets the Point, a film that helped explain the new system, particularly to older generations, who were much more wary of the switch to decimalisation. Still Sterling, Gran. Sterling's just the name for British money. And the pound's still the pound. It's only the shillings and old pence that are going. So instead of pounds, shillings and pence, we'll simply have pounds and new pence. A hundred new pence to the pound. Sterling was good enough for the British Empire. And let's not forget the jingles. Decimalisation, decimalise, decimalisation will change your life. Decimalisation, decimalise, decimalisation, decimal five. Households from across the country received conversion charts and sample price lists to help them practice at home. Shops and banks trained their staff to assist customers with conversions, ensuring no one was left confused at the checkout. And in one of the more creative moves, retailers hired decimal dollies, women dressed in provocative outfits made of the new currency. After months of jingles, leaflets and decimal dollies, all that was left was to finally make the switch. And on the 15th of February 1971, Britain ditched LSD for GBP. Find out how decimal day unfolded in part five.